Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD5. So let's continue with the new map parking lot. Right now I'm gonna show you Mastery uh, Impopable. For those of you who don't know what Mastery Mode is, it is an elite game mode that you can unlock once you get all the medals from every single one of the difficulties. And, uh, and in this game mode, all the balloons are one rank higher. So that means that rats become uh, blues, uh, and ceramics turn into moabs and uh, and so the game becomes uh, um, difficult a lot, lot uh, faster and not only that you also get less cash from popping the balloons so uh, going with farms is almost uh, a must and uh, now I'm gonna show you a gameplay with uh, um, using uh, lab upgrades so I'm gonna have everything activated and on and uh, I'm gonna use uh, special buildings, the Dark Monkey special building. Uh, all four levels of this special building are gonna be required for this gameplay to work out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's dive into the gameplay. Uh, as I said, on the normal Impopable, I recommend you to play this map on reverse because it's gonna uh, allow you to place your towers slightly better and uh, in a better uh, position. So. I'm gonna start here with the engineer in this bottom left corner. All right, and then I'm gonna place the free duck monkey from the special building in front of the engineer. Uh, so closest to the bottom, closest to the left, and that should be it. So engineer in strong, that monkey in first, and here we go. And uh, you can see here in round one, there are uh, blue balloons and not red balloons. So that's the balloons being one rank higher. And also you can see the cash, it's a lot less. Uh, and, um, and that makes uh, farming very, very important on master mode, especially because of the fact that round 35, you have uh, ceramics, uh, five ceramics. And then in round 40, you have four moabs. Uh, round 43, you have even more moabs. Round uh, 46, you have the BFB. Round 60, the oh my god, so it becomes hard very, very quickly, and therefore you need farms to be able to build up a, a good defense. So here, round six, I'm gonna just wait to have enough cash, and then I'm gonna place the farm right here, closest to the bottom to the left in this corner, um, placing it during the round, so that should give me the extra two bananas. So that's gonna be 80 more cash. Right. Um, yeah, this round should be good. So I'm gonna very simply get here this farm one zero, and uh, probably only round nine is gonna be a little clutch in terms of uh, um, in terms of balloons. I may pop like the last balloons uh, right there, so before the the leak. So let's see. I'm gonna keep this engineer on strong until it can pop all these yellows. Possibly. Um, okay, and then first now. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that's all I wanted. Now I can get the engineer one zero and now with the sentry guns uh, should be should be good. Now it also is round ten, I should have another free that monkey that I'm gonna place uh, very soon. So I'm gonna place it right here in front of the other monkey, closest to the left, pretty much. So bottom and left. Right, right there. And the next is gonna be most likely just dropping another farm. Possibly during the round, so I can get the extra cash. So probably I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in this round, round 13. Uh, so, all right, let's prepare here the farm and let's go. In the round, nice. So that should give me some extra bananas, 80, exactly. So wait. Wait. 
and uh, normally another trick that you can do when you have uh, enough cell price in the lab in the lab is uh, uh, you can sell the lesser farm to get the other one to zero but in this case you can see uh, even if I sell it I wouldn't get enough cash so I'm gonna just keep it one more round and then I'm gonna uh, sell it and that is because uh, I farm a two zero uh, gives you actually more cash than two farms one zero so that's why it's better to sell the the, the lesser one to uh, to get uh, one farm to zero you can see no need to upgrade the monkeys yet uh, so I can focus pretty much solely on on the on the farms so dropping another one right there before they don't end it all right one zero And I think now that I have placed this second farm, I can place the farmer. Uh, it's really very annoying to uh, to have to collect the bananas with your mouse, so because you have to click on them, so it's very annoying. And therefore, I'm gonna place uh, yeah anywhere here should be good. Farmer, that should do it for me. Now let's see here if I can drop another farm before it ends. Uh, probably yes so there should be some extra cash just waiting for it and the next round round 20 I uh, should get another free that monkey yeah here we go so now selling this uh, to zero and then dropping the free monkey now in this case I'm gonna place it uh, oops uh, yeah, that was unintended uh, there because there is a, a sentry gun right there and they doesn't allow me to place the free that monkey where I want so I need to sell it so let's sell it oh yeah I need to do everything again so here we go and then now placing it right here so closest to the engineer then closest to the left all right uh, and now that I have two farms, uh, two zero, I'm gonna actually get this start monkey upgraded to three. Uh, well, first of all, because I need some extra damage. And second is because uh, round 24 is approaching and uh, I'm gonna need uh, uh, a camo detention tower to pop the, the green bloom. All right, so that's another farm in the round. One zero, that's the camo bloom. And then here also I'm gonna drop another farm. In this gameplay I'm gonna just go with three, as I did for the normal in uh, But yeah, that is gonna actually allow me to uh, to drop a village and to have all the farms in range of that village, and so to have them discounted. All right. And uh, um, I have already lead popping power because of the dark monkeys. They are darts are explosive. Uh, that's the um, special building. So now I can drop here a village. All right, here we go. And now that I have the village, I have everything discounted. So the best thing to do is just sell all these farms. And uh, um, and then you replace them but this time you have them in range of the village so you already discounted them by placing them getting all the upgrades they cost less so i'm gonna get here a uh, three zero farm all right this one's gonna be two zero and then this one is gonna be just a zero zero all right here we go nice Uh, round 30 now should get uh, another free that monkey in this case I'm gonna place right here in this uh, intersection like between this that monkey and this one and also I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it to three there are a lot of uh, rainbows in round 31 a lot of balloons so you don't want to risk uh, not having enough damage Right, a lot of lads here, no problem whatsoever. 
and then here uh, another three zero farm and now let's see when I'm gonna have enough to get the uh, factory so this sells for a uh, 6.3 this one for 2.8 so that's uh, uh, 9.1 thousand right 9.1 and this one is gonna cost 15 uh, one so uh, I think I can actually get this one 3-0 and then at the end of this round uh, I can uh, I can get the, the factory but here I forgot that I need actually a balloon chipper so I'm gonna place it very very quickly in strong to hold some of these ceramics you see you have five ceramics and uh, uh, yeah, you can't uh, just pop all of them so you have uh, to get balloon chipper to buy you some time all right uh, I think at the end of round 36 I will be able to get the factory and I'm gonna start doing the trick with the farms to get extra boxes and uh, yeah this should be good now so uh, what you do it's pretty simple you just start the round and you get the factory in the round so in that way all the bananas are turned into boxes and so you get uh, boxes and uh, you get a ton more of cash right for two factory just to have some boxes with extra worth and then here come on that remember on 37 and that's why these start monkeys are strong so strong with the special building I can pop come on just like that and now at the end of the round you sell the factory and you do the um, the trick again and therefore in this way you can get uh, multiple times uh, a lot of cash and uh, uh, that really helps you especially in these rounds because remember round uh, um, round 40 has four mobs so here actually I may be risking something um, but I think I'm good yeah but yeah that was a little risky I had to get the balloon cheaper too too uh, otherwise I think uh, too many balloons would have sneak past there so let's place a village. Um, okay, closest to the top, just uh, covering the, um, the engineer. So now everything is discounted. And now I can very simply sell the engineer and I can start getting some more useful and stronger towers. For example, ninja. All right here, should be in range of the village. Yes. So let's get it uh, uh, yeah, 4-2, should have still enough cash to sell this factory and do the trick again. Uh, oops, I don't know what happened there, but the game crashed. You could see like, uh, um, yeah, it just exit from the, from the game. RIP. Should be saved though. Uh, yeah, but I still need to do everything again. With the village so let's actually sell this one right away village and ninja and then selling this to get the factory all right now I don't know what happened but uh, the game crashed right and Let's start here this last round, all right. And now the important thing is that for round 40, um, you you have a balloon chipper ready. So you have a 4-2 uh, a balloon chipper, pretty much. And I can actually even get it right now. So let's get also this uh, village 1-1. One, one. Let's do the trick with the farm again. I'm gonna do it probably just a couple more rounds just to get some extra defenses ablazed and then I'm gonna just keep on going a little faster. All right, attack speed. And that should be, yeah, the four mobs destroyed. The balloon shipper, nice. And now I can very simply sell all these extra dark monkeys to gain some space um, to get some more towers placed. 
So let's get a bomb here. Um, actually here. Maybe, maybe better. So three, two, and uh, a blue gunner. Um, yeah, two, two. All right, let's do the trick with the farm one more round. And then I'm gonna just uh, build more farms. So I'm gonna stop doing the trick. You just need to do the trick to get the extra amount of cash needed to get this amount of defenses. Because otherwise you just can't have enough defenses and you're gonna end up uh, losing. You're gonna see around 43, uh, a lot more of mobs are gonna come out. And so you need the ninja damage, you need the bombs down on the ceramics, you need more burn chippers. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much why why you get to to get that extra cash by doing the farm trick and then here um, yeah just building another boon shipper and from now on I'm gonna just keep on going with the with the factories just like that so I'm gonna actually now place more All right you can see here more mobs um, all right, round 46 has the BFP, but two blue cheapers should be enough against that. The three chocolate gun are very, very effective. The slow plus uh, the, the damage. All right. Now here I may get also this village too, too, just because of the fact they don't remember how many camos are gonna come out and I don't want my ninja to be overwhelmed, so. Alright, BFP. Um, yeah, two blue chippers should be enough also for round 47, you can see how many mobs there actually are. Uh, so just to be safe I'm gonna get the bomb for two, so now also it can stun. The balloons in the area other than uh, being able to pop all balloon types so you can pop like black balloons and zebras um okay so let's just uh, now sell this farm and uh, let's get this one i'm gonna do the trick just once Very, very nice uh, uh, CC there. You can see the stun, the slow, but the damage also is there. Okay, a lot of mobs here, then the BFP. But uh, I can still defend very, very nicely. Okay, and that's gonna be the last uh, factory. Here we go, round 51. So now I can sell this village because I have upgraded everything. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna very simply well place some extra defenses here just to make sure that I can survive and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna die in a very stupid way. So let's drop one more boon shiver here in front of the others. Alright, four two. Uh, and let's also get uh, probably here. I don't have enough room, um, but here should be do should do it. Spectre, all right? Uh, and now, as I wait for uh, to get more cash and to just uh, go through the rounds. I'm gonna very simply start building right here a temple. Uh, so I have good piercing in this first uh, portion of the map. And um, and yeah, the temple normally on master mode is just the easiest and fastest way to deal with uh, the, um, the very hard uh, late rounds, so. Uh, here the balloons are coming from that direction, so I think, I think here should be good, right? 
should be in a straight line. So I'm gonna place it closest to the bottom uh, right. So this is gonna be the super monkey, this is gonna be the temple. Um, and I'm gonna just uh, get the sacrifices around. So normally getting another sacrifice in terms of another sun avatar, it's uh, more than enough. In terms of dart uh, passive. Alright, so one, two, three, two. Um, then I'm gonna just sacrifice here uh, bomb, uh, then a wizard and all the other passives, blue and so on. Oops, okay, that's round 63. You could see uh, mob rushes instead of surround rushes, but uh, one single specter can take care of that very easily. And uh, now the easiest way how, how, how I build my sacrifices is just thinking about the second uh, and the third upgrade. So I get like a 3-2 bomb and then a 2-3 bomb and that's enough in terms of bomb sacrifice. And uh, of course in this way you're not building actually the strongest temple but you're building uh, a strong enough temple so it's not really important sacrificing more than 30,000 for each sacrifice to get the maximum effect and the maximum damage. The important thing is just being able to to get a strong enough temple to um, to defeat the last rounds quite easily. So that's a three two and two three ice tower. Then it's going to be the same here for the glue. Um, actually, I'm going to just place them first, and then I'm going to just upgrade them. All right. So three two two three. Same for the glue here. Three, two, two, three, and that should be all the passives, right? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Normally, I also get a in MIB village. I sacrifice an MIB village uh, because why not? All right, here we go. And um, yeah, so that's gonna be the temple. One hundred eight thousand cash, but definitely here I can like sell the specter and sell these blue chippers as I get it. So let's sell the Burn Cheaper uh, Inspector right now. And let's get the Temple. Alright, here we go. Do it. Nice. So let's sell all these things in the left side. Alright, a little bit of lag. Unfortunately, um, this map seems a little bit laggy. I don't really know why, but um, maybe we like how the balloons are coming from or something like that but uh, it lags way more than the other maps and uh, yeah, I don't there is no no reason why but it just lags so you can see that after like the balloons explode there is a little bit of lag um, yeah, it's quite unfortunate but there's nothing I can do about that so for zero for one sniper um, let's just uh, uh, sell all these things All right, actually, I think I didn't even get the temple. Yeah, for two Yeah, I can see the lag is insane even if I'm attacking in a straight line uh, It's still lagging Now I don't know this map. It's a little weird But anyway, I'm gonna just get now Two other uh, crippled mobs outside the range of the village, so in that way I can pretty much cripple the mobs with a very good, uh, uh, with different timings. All right, so for zero, for one, and then for one, for zero. All right, and that's pretty much it. So the last rounds are going to be quite easy, um, and I also have the village activated ability that I can use if I need to. Yeah, so that was the new map on master mode uh, pretty easy it's a beginner map so 
nothing too terrible and um, and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see ya bye bye